Uh, anonymous reader quotes from Ars Technica. Oh my gosh, I hate it when news places copy each other. But anyways, Windows infamous blue screen of death is a bit of a punch line. <laughs> it's true. It's like a sad face now. Even Windows makes fun of its own. Oh my gosh. Hey, there's always Artix. That's what we're on right here. So if 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 you don't want any system D in your stuff, you could always just uh, install Artix with OpenRC instead of system D. It is always an option. Just saying. All right. Uh, enough enough uh, shilling for Artix. Uh, moving on. So blue screen of death will be coming to system D, it looks like. Uh, <laughs> and in some circles remain a byword of flakiness and stabilities to PC. To this day, yeah, it's always been kind of there. Old Windows BSD error codes, which honestly never made sense. If you ever like have like a Windows BSD, there's actually a dump file that gets thrown in the root of your C drive. And there's an entire program that ingests the dump file that you can actually look at these errors. So if you do run into like a blue screen of death, uh, there's always been like this, but it's always been kind of funny because those dump files that analyze and actually kind of tell you what's up aren't even from Microsoft. I, I don't know how that all works. I just know anytime I run into that, that's usually what I use to analyze them. Anywho, getting back to the Linux side, why is it coming to Linux? Today, version 255 of the Linux System D project honors the original intent by adding System D BSOD component that generates a full screen display of some error messages. What? Why? Why would you do this? What? It <sighs> like, what's wrong with log files? People know how to get into like var log and then just look at the system logs. Like, why do we need a BSOD? And why is it's a whole new component? It's probably another daemon that runs in the background. Linux is just it, Windows is not something you should be copying, Linux folks. The whole reason why us Windows folks leave Windows is because it's Windows. Uh, we should not inspire to be more like Windows. I'm just saying, just saying, a little bit there, but it's Red Hat. You know, they they probably a little puff puff give a little bit too much when this idea came about. Uh. <laughs> All right. So that's 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 really what they're meaning. BSODs. They're they're installing a whole new component. That's probably gonna be like a unit in the, the system D. I'd show you the unit files, but uh, you know, I'm not using system D. Yeah, you know, I'm not I'm not like the peasants using system D. I'm using Artix that uses OpenRC, you know, like the real chats. <laughs> BSOD is just a bad name. They should have just named it something different. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe they still have, can call it black screen of death instead of blue screen because the blue screen was always like, ugh, gross. Anyways, the components listed as experimental subject to change, but the functionality is simple. Any logged error message that reached log emerge level will be displayed full screen to allow people to take a photo and write it down. I mean, it's not necessarily the worst thing. As much as I just crapped all over it, eh, you know, it flashing up, it'd be like a kernel panic kind of thing. And as long as it actually shows real information, where the, the, the punchline in Windows was, you just didn't know. Like, you just, you get a blue screen of death and you're like, well, what the hell's system IRQ failed? Like, what what am I supposed to do with that? Like, what what do you mean, which IRQ? What, what component? What driver? Sometimes it'd give you like a DLL, but a lot of times it wouldn't. And, uh, as long as system D actually reports what devices and the screen is somewhat functional and gives good feedback to the user, I'm okay with it. But if it just gives garbage and it just emulates Windows BSODs, ugh, but that's a pretty low bar. I have faith Red Hat's not that terrible. So we will see, but coming soon to your, your Linux install, the BSOD. Unless, of course, you use Artix.